So I upgraded my LG V60 to Android 12. And so far it's been amazing. But one critical downgrade that I talked about in a previous video, going from Wideband L1 support to Wideband L3 support. And a bunch of people's confused on why is this happening in the first place? Well, since I dropped that video of me going from L1 to L3, I've been getting a bunch of people telling me just to factor reset my LG V60 to gain L1 support back. Well, in this video, I'm going to factor reset my LG V60 and we're going to see if I'm going to gain back L1 support after factor resetting my LG V60. So this is going to be a good one. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So why having Wideband L1 is so important? Why is that? Well, Wideband certification is very important. If you watch streaming services like Netflix or Amazon a video, Wideband L1 allows you to view the content at its highest resolution if you have L1 support on your device. Well, L3, caps out at about 720p. So watching movies and streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Video, you would not get the highest quality playback. Now all my LG devices, and I got plenty of LG devices, almost all of them supports Wideband L1, except my LG V60 that has been downgraded a 2L3 support after I upgraded this device to Android 12. So I've been getting a bunch of emails and DMs and, and stuff from you guys saying that all you have to do is factory reset your device and boom, you will get L1 support back. Well, let's go on the factory reset this device and see if it fixes all the issues that I have and see if I can gain L1 support. So let's go. Okay, so after factory resetting the LG V60, nothing is fixed. I'm still downgraded to Wideband L3. Now this is my LG V60, Wideband L3. So effective resetting your device will does not fix it, right? So just so you know, as you can see, my LG Velvet here, L1 support, two LG wings, L1 support, the LG V60, L3, L3 support here. And when I go to Netflix, here it is. My playback resolution is standard definition. So I'm stuck at 720p. 
even when I go to Amazon Video, I'm still at 720p. So I do not get the highest resolution if I'm watching movies on Amazon and other streaming services like that. Now, if you're on YouTube, yes, you can up the resolution to 1440p on YouTube. But other streaming services, it, it looks at the LG V60 as a L3 device, so you do not get the highest resolution here. So let me answer some questions you guys posted on my previous video about my LG V60. First, the LG V60 that I have is not rooted and it does not have an unlocked bootloader. So this so you know that. Next, this is a T-Mobile device that was purchased brand new when it first came out. Next, there's a split down the middle of people with LG V60 that either have L1 support uh, RL3 support after the Android 12 update. So there are some people that did lose L1 support uh, when they upgraded to Android 12. So I'm not the only one. And lastly, should I give up on the LG V60? The answer to that question is no. Uh, as you know, uh, LG will support this device up into Android 13. So I have a long ways to go with my LG V60. So I'm good here and I really do like the device. So what have we learned here, right? What have we learned? I can tell you what we've learned. Sometimes we rush companies for updates and we beg for updates and stuff like this happens, you know? So sometimes we need to sit back and wait for the companies to get it right before updating our devices. Next, we still should hold LG accountable for screwing up this update. Some people got it, some people didn't. How do we hold LG accountable? Well, that's simple. Either move on to another device, right? Or keep calling them out for their mess ups. So that's how we hold them accountable. If you want to hold LG accountable, all you have to do is move on to another device. But we cannot stay silent. We still got to call them out for the crap that they do. So here it is. Nothing is fixed on my LG V60. Look, let me know down in the comments below, do you have Wideband L1 or L3 support on your LG devices? Let me know down in the comments below. But if you want to see the LG V60 going against the Galaxy Z Fold, click the video right here. Click this video right here that I'm going to be in the comments. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.